The problem are the racist and bigots and Muslim hating people that are out there. And the media has a tremendous responsibility in terms of all this hate and fear mongering that's happening in our country today. Up until now, we have perhaps failed to understand our positions as minorities and failed to react strategically. What if this entire nation is waiting for you and I to stand up because we're going to uphold justice for all? Alhamdulillah, we do stress individual obligations, but societal obligations is what makes Muslims in America relevant. Muslims here in America, we're here actually to make America better. That we help and assist one another in this community and this society to improve the quality of life of this community as well. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us, to make us a source of betterment and reform for our communities. You and I understand impact itself comes from Allah. The effort comes from you. Your messenger of Allah was a kind, tolerant man. When people's rights were taken, the Prophet ﷺ would get angry for Allah. It is sunnah to be angry when young black people are killed in the streets. Teach our children that their roots in this country run deep. That this is their country and no one has the right to tell them otherwise. American mosques, like the black churches of the 60s and the 70s, must be critical component of interfaith movement and peace and justice movement and new civil rights movement. When I was in Boston, and the Boston bombing happened. You know why there was very, very little drama? Because we had served the city of Boston. Everyone around the city said they do good things in that building. America better, we want America whole, and we are going to stand out and show the light of Islam, and we're going to do it with our patience, our love, and our obedience to Allah and the Messenger. May Allah bless all of you. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>